I've seen more hazard trees and trees through houses now than I have in my whole life. Those living in the Riverside Grove neighborhood on the CZU burn scar in Boulder Creek are bracing for another storm. After intense winds last week, wrecked at least four homes in the neighborhood. We watched it pick these trees up. We couldn't believe it. They were kind of going outward and, and then it just, just flung them into these homes. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. Helen Weber's home was spared. Still, she says she's traumatized and now planning to move. But for now, she's staying in the Bay Area ahead of tomorrow's rain. I think a lot of us, all of us to some degree are traumatized and afraid. And she's not the only one leaving the mountains for the night. I'm headed down to uh, Scotts Valley. We're going to stay in a hotel. Before he heads out, Garland Prater, like the rest of his neighbors, are busy fixing and cleaning up whatever mess they can, covering up any holes in the roof and rebuilding stairs. It's a small task compared to next door, where homes are still waiting to get massive trees removed. This one's more severe, yes. We have a few more down the road that are a little worse. Arborist Bobby Pilgreen says he's backed up with requests, and with where things stand, it's going to take about a month to get through all of it, assuming there aren't any more emergencies. About 15 emergency calls, and then uh, probably 10 more littler jobs that people want done, but I can't make it to the smaller jobs right now. We're doing stuff like this. Big redwood trees, 200 footers falling on houses everywhere. It's uh, pretty gnarly.